My name is James Graves, and welcome to another edition of Night Journey Rewind. As you know, every last Thursday of each month, last Thursday of each month, I do a live show at the Peacock Lounge in San Francisco in the Fillmore District. And we've had some exciting musicians, and we got another one coming up this coming Thursday at 8 o'clock at the Peacock Lounge. Guitarist Spencer Hoford. What's going on, man? How you doing? Good, man. How are you? Good to I'm see doing. you. All right. We got to go down memory lane right quick. Tell us your humble beginnings of playing the guitar and what got you into playing as far as specifically in jazz. Um, well, I started the guitar, I think I, I was 10 years old. Um, and I, I grew up in Florida. Um, so I think my first beginnings is there was like a, uh, my dad played a little bit of guitar. So there was, um, you know, he, he sometimes played around the house, but didn't really have a working guitar. Um, I, I, I did like weren't playing much. Um, and then there was a like a car show or something like that that I, I was at with my parents when I was really young. And um, they there was a guitar shop like in front of it. And I was like really fascinated with the guitar. I really wanted to play, and I begged, begged my parents to mm. to get me a guitar. And then I think we might have gone back later or something, and and mm. got like you know like a little a little beater acoustic guitar for me. And then that that I think was yeah maybe the the yeah, the, the first time I started playing the instrument. And then my my I think I just got help from my dad. You know, it was my dad mm -hmm. played a little bit of guitar, so he you know, kind of taught me some of the basics on it and stuff like that. When you started learning how to play, because you were interested in the guitar, did you know what direction that you wanted to go in your playing? No, um, I mean, well, I, I guess in a way, at the, at the time I was really interested in the Beatles and other music from the 60s, because that that's what was my parents' um, generation. And that's when they, uh, that that's what they had on in the house. And that's what they, you know, or playing so I, I i was you know just trying to learn that stuff and trying to play along to the radio with those songs so i guess in a way but i but i definitely didn't have a um i have like a career in mind <laughs> yeah so you're practicing you're playing you're learning different riffs you're enjoying it what got you going in the direction of jazz um, I think I was just really interested in improvising. Um, I like I mean my I, one of the first things that I did on the guitar was improvise, you know, because I, I think I learned a song and then my dad, you know, showed me like a, a pentatonic scale or something like a blues box. Mm -hmm. And you know, so I was uh, I was trying to improvise and I, I you know kind of used that to figure out, what key a song you know would, would would be in and i you know i was always trying to play along to stuff on the radio and and it, it was just something that i was really interested in and then i i played on um, saxophone some in, in middle school when i when i went there i joined the band and was playing saxophone and they're like, I, I was always, you know, trying to improvise my parts or, you know, the band director didn't really like that, but <laughs> yeah. I was messing it up. But, you know, I was, I, I was just interested in improvising. So I think, you know, slowly I started getting more and more exposed into, um, you know, jazz music, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think, it, I think it was just my interest in improvisation. My name is James Graves. This is Night Journey Rewind, the podcast. We're visiting with guitarist Spencer Hoford, who will be performing this coming Thursday at the Peacock Lounge with his quartet. Hit times is at 8 o'clock. Ticket information, please go to peacocklounge.org for all your information. Who were some of your earlier influences that helped you go in the direction that you're going musically playing the guitar? Oh, man, I mean... I, I mean, I guess definitely the Beatles, which was, you know, maybe one of the first, like, you know, bands I heard that I was, you know, super into and, you know, some of the earliest music that I remember hearing and, and learning. Um, then there were, were a few, I, I, I mean, like, before 
kind of getting into jazz, like I was really into blues guitarists. Mm -hmm. So guys like, you know, BB King or Muddy Waters, um, you know, it, it like I, I, I like, you know, rock guitar too, like Eric Clapton, Van Halen, you know, it's like, so, so like, just like the world of, you know, kind of <laughs> like blues guitar and then American guitar and rock guitar, like, like was just something that I was really interested in in that time. Um, but then I, I got, I, I had a saxophone teacher who showed me Phil Woods, which was really oh, the first okay. jazz mu musician, I guess. I knew like before I even learned who Charlie Parker was or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like I just learned about this guy, Phil Woods. And I, I, I was like, oh my God, dude, like this is crazy. He sounds so good, which is funny. I didn't even know, I, you know, I had no idea what, that, that there was so much more stuff in that world I, I i just you know so i i remember checking out a lot of phil woods and then from there starting to realize like oh man there's this whole um you know whole world of you know, you know charlie parker and dizzy gillespie and bud powell and you know it's, <laughs> it's just like but yeah it's en endless and so many so, so it's kind so, of yeah, kind of open up the floodgates huh yeah yeah and then yeah yeah through them i just it, yeah discovered so many of my my musical heroes but i think that that was kind of where it, my earliest ones because i started i mean i played the guitar at 10 for the first time and then i started to play some you know in in, in little gigs outside of you know like little um I don't even know what they they'd be like community events or like a harvest festival or something like mm -hmm. so I I was playing with my dad at those and then when I went to middle school there was this rock jam session or blues jam session um in the town I grew up in so I started going to that every Monday and sitting in and you know trying to pick up the songs and then from there I kind of started like I, I got in the house band there and then I got in a couple other bands around town and I was always just going out. You know, there was no jazz music really in the, the high, high Springs, Florida, where I grew up. So that, you know, there's just rock and country music and some blues. So it's like, I, I was just going to those, you know, gigs every night to, with my instrument trying to sit in and, you know, to, to you know, see if they'd let me play. And I, fr from there I started playing a, actually a decent amount of gigs so I, I i was kind of working um like pretty young like when i was 12 or 13 like i i had gigs and was playing out like mm. you know three or four times every week w w which was um I, you know it's just, so, so i think that's when i i i wasn't really thinking that i was doing that as a career at the time it was just you know that that was what i wanted to do i just wanted to play you know, so I think, and then a few years later, maybe I was 14 or 15, I've been doing that and, you know, getting more gigs and learning more stuff. And I was like, oh, like, you know, I just never really thought of doing anything else at that point, I guess. And any other, you know, potential career plan, I was kind of like, oh, well, I'm already doing this, so I, 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 I should right. be going. Now, you know, once again, you know, the different genres of music that you're playing, was there uh a musician, a song that kind of like say, ooh, let me really, I, I don't want to use the word experiment, but let me really try my hand at this, this genre of music. Did that happen for you? Um, I don't, uh, yeah, I, I I don't know too specifically. I, I, I don't, um, I didn't, I, I usually didn't break things down into, um, genres and stuff when i when i was just listening or playing i mean mostly I, I i didn't you know i didn't have a lot of lessons i just had a classical saxophone teacher for a little bit and then i had my dad um you know so i i like when i was listening to it let's just if i liked it i liked it and i'd check it out and try and learn about it and if i didn't um i mean i i, I pretty much liked most, all the stuff i was listening to so um <laughs> But, you know, I, 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 I do feel like there was sort of a route for jazz, like, you know, because I, I started with the Beatles and kind of this like 60s 
you know, and then there's more like Americana. And then I was playing, you know, country music and rock music. But then I started getting really interested in like Earth, Wind and Fire and, and like Sly and the Family Stone and more like funk music. And I think from there, I, I you know, kind of got into Stevie Wonder and then mm-hmm. that sort of put me more you know that that was like grabbing another branch of jazz i think right and then then from there i started to kind of get into um like jazz music i guess but 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 it really like in in terms of like learning like those specific tunes and that body of work like um i feel like i i really started focusing on it more when i was playing it like i you know i started having gigs where i was playing that music so I started really checking out that music and, you know, like, oh, like I need to learn about Dexter Gordon or Lee Morgan or, you know, Art Blakey and, and, and really getting, you know, it, into those records and, and, and learning those songs and stuff. But but a lot of that, you know, I, I feel like I, I started to do the very end of high school or even when I moved out to San Francisco. Yeah, de- de- definitely those are those are some huge influences for me. What can we expect to hear from guitarist Spencer Hilford and his quartet this coming Thursday? Man, well, we're going to be actually, it, it's kind of exciting. I've played with all of the people in this band quite a bit separately, but we haven't had, and I've played, the, the rhythm section has played trio before but not the full quartet with Skyler so it, it, it's kind of going to be a first meeting of sorts so we, we've been talking about kind of a common body of repertoire and some light arrangements of you know some some standards and and songs that we all really like and I think we're just going to kind of see keep it open and see if we can get creative and kind of get um get into some new sounds as a group you know, just, just this being the first meeting, I originally I was thinking that maybe we'd bring in, you know, a lot of original music or, or do like a theme of, of like, you know, one, you know, like I know the last time I did a, a Wayne Shorter um, tribute there at the Peacock Lounge right. with Mike. But I think, um, yeah, I think for this one, we're, we're going to kind of try to pick from a broader array of, you know, just some jazz standards and, and maybe other compositions that we all know and like, and then, um, you know, kind of just put our spin on it and see if we can <laughs> come to an interesting group sound together then. Well, this one thing I love about jazz uh, is the fact that, you know, you have a structure, but you can so easily go around that and go at so many different directions and come back to the core towards the end. That's what yeah. I love about the music. It's really so much about the music. Looking forward to having a nice, you know, turnout Thursday night and looking forward to seeing you perform. Perform again with your own group, which should be exciting in itself. Uh, my name is James Graves. This is Nigeria Rewind, the podcast. We are visiting with guitarist Spencer Hoford, who will be performing this Thursday at the Peacock Lounge. Two shows, 8 o'clock. Usually the second one starts around 9.15, 9.30. It's always kind of up in the air when the second show starts. If you want ticket information, it's $15 in advance, $20 at the door. You can go to uh, peacocklounge.org to get more information on it. Spencer, I thank you so much for your time. Looking forward to the show, and uh, we'll be talking real soon. Thank-